Hello everybody. In this lesson, I will discuss another practice example on timelines in financial maths. Let's do another one. A man decided to start saving money for his daughter's future education. He immediately deposited 4,000 Rand into a savings account. Three years later, he deposited a further 5,000 Rand into the account. One year later, he withdrew 2,000 Rand in order to do repairs around the house. His daughter needed money for four years after his withdrawal of 2,000 Rand. The interest rate for the first three years was 15% per annum compounded monthly. The interest rate for the remaining five years was 16% per annum compounded quarterly. Calculate the, the future value of his money at the end of the savings period, which lasted eight years. Now you will see that this is, oops, this is a lot of information. So let's see if we can highlight the important information. Let's start from the beginning. A man decided to start saving for his daughter's future education. He immediately deposited 4,000 Rand into a savings account. So you agree P is 4,000. Three years later, therefore three years, he deposited a further 5,000 Rand into the account. So there's your plus 5,000. One year later, one year later, he withdrew 2,000 Rand, therefore minus 2,000. And can you see the deposits and the withdrawals that I wrote them there on the dotted lines? Uh, okay, just from here. One year later, he withdrew 2,000 Rand in order to do repairs around the house. His daughter needed money for four years after the withdrawal of 2,000 Rand. Do you agree? Four years. So here at the end of the four years, we will decide what's going on there. The interest rate for the first three years was 15% per annum compounded monthly. And that is very important. So the interest rate, you write that one on top. R is 15% monthly. The interest rate for the remaining five years was 16% per annum compounded quarterly. So now for the remaining time, there, you can see that solid green line there. R is 16% quarterly. Then, the question, calculate the future value of his money at the end of the savings period, which lasted eight years. Now, my advice to you is just add all your years. There's three, four, and four is eight years. It adds up to eight years. And then we can do the sum. So into the compound angle formula, uh, not angle, I am sorry, into the compound savings <laughs> compound interest formula, A equals P bracket 1 plus I to the power of N. So in P's place, 4,000 bracket 1 plus. Now, let's see. The rate is 15%, therefore 0 0.15, but calculated monthly, so divide by 12. And the duration was 3 years, there's the 3, but monthly, therefore times by 12. When you slot that into your calculator, A's value 6,255 Rand and 78 cents. Then the 5,000 Rand was added. Therefore, P is now the answer from the previous sum, the 6,255 Rand plus the 5,000 equals 11,255 Rand and 78 cents into the compound interest formula a equals p bracket 1 plus i to the n p's value is 11255 rand 
bracket 1 plus. Now let's see what happened. Here the R is 16%, therefore 0, 0,16, but compounded quarterly. Therefore divide the R by 4. And all of this is, is for one year. There's your 1 times 4 compounded quarterly. Therefore A's value 13,167 rand and 67 cents. Then we subtract the 2,000 rand. Now I'm here from the previous A. So our new B will be the 13,167 rand minus 2,000 is 11,000. Into the formula. A equals P bracket 1 plus I to the N. In P's place, the 11,167. And you include the cents as well. Bracket 1 plus. So R is still 16%, 0, 0,16. And it is divided quarterly, divide by a 4. And then all of this is going on for 4 years times. And that 4 is compounded quarterly. And when you slot that into your calculator, the final, final amount will be 20,916 rand and 84 cents. In the next lesson, I will discuss another timeline example. Click on the video in the left hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.